In this video, you're going to learn what to do if you're not getting sales for your e-commerce store. There are three areas we're going to be looking at. One, when the quality of traffic that you're sending to your store is low quality and it's not converting. Two, when you're not even getting people adding to cart from your product pages. And three, when you're getting customers adding to cart but they're not completing their checkout i.e. abandoning their cart. Let's start with the low quality traffic. Low quality traffic is when you're getting visitors to your store, but they're just not interested in what you're selling. First, check how many visitors you're getting. If you still have less than 500 visitors to your store, then you need to focus on getting more traffic before you go through the rest of this video. Go and watch our video on what to do if you're not getting impressions and clicks, and then keep optimizing your campaign. I'll leave a link to that video down below. If you are getting a lot of clicks, but no conversions, the next thing we need to do is check the quality of our traffic. For example, if you're selling basketballs, you want to be targeting people that are searching for something like buy basketballs online. You run your Google shopping campaign for the first time and you get 1000 clicks, but not a single person buys. So you check the search terms report of your campaign and you see that most of these clicks are for searches that are not relevant towards your products. For example, basketball bobblehead. No wonder you didn't get any sales. All the people visiting your site wanted a bobblehead. They didn't want a basketball. So how and why did this happen? Sometimes, especially for new campaigns, Google gets it wrong. You see, you don't get to choose what keywords you target with your Google shopping campaign. Google looks at your product feed to try and figure out what you're actually selling. They then show it to a lot of different people and watch how those people interact with your ads. Do they click and do they convert? Sometimes it takes time for Google to figure out what your products are and who to show them to. Our job is to guide that algorithm to try and get as much relevant traffic as quickly as possible. So how do you know if you're getting quality traffic or not? Check the search terms report of your Google shopping campaign. Go to your Google ads dashboard, click on your shopping campaign, on the left hand side, go to keywords and click on search terms. Make sure you set the date range to a significant amount of time. Then go through your search terms report and notice if there are any search queries that are not particularly relevant. Here in this case, we're selling basketballs and other sports equipment, but we're getting some searches for bobbleheads and fishing equipment. These people will probably not purchase from us. So we need to add negative keywords as well as improve our product feed to target more search queries about basketballs and sports equipment. This requires optimizing our campaigns and in our free Google Shopping course, we have a full section on how to optimize your campaigns. I'll leave a link to those videos down below. The next problem you might have that's causing no sales is that people are just not adding your products to their cart. You know this is the case by looking at your add to cart ratio. It differs depending on the store, but usually we see a ratio of anywhere from three to 10%. So how do you view your own add to cart ratio? If you're using the old Google Analytics, go to Google Analytics and open up conversions, e-commerce and shopping behavior. Set the date range to at least 30 days. You'll see the product page views here as sessions with product views. You'll see the number of add to carts here as sessions with add to basket. Just divide the second by the first to get the ratio. If you're using the new Google Analytics GA4, then you can just get the same metrics by clicking engagement and then events to see this report. View item is the number of product page views. Add to cart is the number of add to carts. So we can get our add to cart ratio right here. If you are getting anything less than three to 5%, then you have a lot to improve on your product page. Here are the common reasons you're not getting people add to cart. Number one, an easy one. Make sure your add to cart button is working. Make sure that your product isn't actually sold out and people can actually click and add to their cart. Maybe Maybe there's some sort of design issue with your site or some sort of geographical restriction set up for your store. Make sure that the people that you're targeting in their location with their device and browser can actually open your product page and add to cart. Next, we need to make sure our product page is optimized. You should be constantly testing and improving your product page and store to convert more and more customers. This means having a store that looks fantastic it builds trust and it solves the problems of your searches. A common problem I see with beginners is they spend all their time in the Google Ads account when their product page looks like this. A basic page with just a title, description and product image. Compare that to a product page like this. A product page that's engaging, clearly demonstrates how amazing the product is, explodes with social proof 
and walks through all the features and benefits in great detail. This type of product page is called a long form product page and it converts way better than a regular simple product page. When we use these for our clients, we generally see conversion rates in the three to 10%. It's insane. Imagine increasing your conversion rate from one to 3%. You're now converting three times as many customers for the same cost with the same traffic. Getting this right is like rocket fuel for your campaigns and allows you to scale like crazy. Now I have a full free course on how to set up these long form product pages. I'll leave a link to that down below. Now you can have the best product pages in the world, but if your product quality and offer is terrible, it's still going to be hard to convert customers. The common mistakes I see people making are pricing their product way too high without demonstrating the value of their product, low quality images, or just a low quality product. If a customer can go to your competitor's store and see a better quality product for a cheaper price, who do you think they're gonna buy from? They might even be happy to pay more for a competitor's product if it means a higher quality product. Of course, this is all about perceived value. At the same time, don't lie or misrepresent your products. The next mistake I see people making is trying to sell a product that people don't actually want. Make sure that the features and benefits that you put on your product page are actually resonating with the people that are searching for them. Your customers are going to be unique and this is where your market research comes in. You need to understand your customers so well that when they see your product page, they feel that this product was made just for them. It speaks directly to their needs and wants and their decision to buy is going to be very, very easy. This is because their perceived value of that product far outweighs the cost that you're charging on your store. Improving your conversion rates is a long and consistent process. Once you've increased the number of people adding your products to their cart, will then look at increasing the number of checkout completions. So if your customers are adding to cart but they're not completing their checkout, there are a number of things we can do to improve this. One, make sure your cart is actually working. This is the most basic and easiest fix is when your cart isn't actually working and people can't check out on your store. Check to make sure that you can actually put through a transaction yourself. Create a 100% off discount code and go through and try and complete your own checkout and see what the experience is like. Maybe you forgot to add a payment provider or some sort of Shopify setting. The next big thing that we see causing a lack of checkout completions is the shipping price. Honestly, I believe that most customers actually expect to get free shipping. If you're not providing free shipping on your store, you're actually doing a disservice to your customers, let alone your bottom line which is what we really care about here. We've seen so many stores implement free shipping and the increase in sales definitely covers the cost of the extra shipping. At the same time, you can also increase your prices to cover or share the cost of the shipping. At the end of the day, the truth is most customers prefer to know that the shipping is included in the purchase price than be hit with a shipping price later on when they're about to finish the checkout. Try free shipping and see how that goes for your conversion rates. Another cause of abandoned carts are unexpected costs like taxes or currency conversion fees. Of course, we already talked about shipping, but check to see if there are any other unexpected costs that a customer is hit with when they try and complete their checkout. This could be affecting your cart completion rates and stopping you from capturing all those customers that you should. Of course, some things can't be changed like taxes, but just take stock and look so you're aware of what's causing the drop off. The next thing is prices being too high. While a customer may have made a decision to purchase from you when they add to cart, it's not locked in until they pay. For some customers, once they actually have to pull out their credit card and enter their details, they suddenly re-question their decision to buy from you. Maybe the perceived value of your product is teetering on the edge of being worth it. And once you ask them to add in their credit card details, it's just not worth it for them. Consider your pricing and value proposition, especially in light of competitors, to make sure that when people add to cart, they've got a real heck yes attitude and they wanna put in their credit card details and pay. Next, maybe your checkout isn't very trustworthy. If you're using a different platform, some of these don't look very trustworthy. A customer might feel that it's gonna steal their credit card details, take it off to who knows where and sell it on the black market. You need to make sure that your checkout makes customers feel comfortable with giving their credit card details and personal information. I personally recommend that all our students use Shopify just because it's so easy to use it's economical and it takes part of a trustworthy checkout for you. If you're using 
using another platform like WooCommerce, get a second opinion about the trustworthiness of your checkout. Here are some things to especially check. Spelling and grammatical mistakes. You shouldn't have this anywhere on your store, especially not in the checkout. Design inconsistencies like images not loading, unprofessional or inconsistent fonts, and unprofessional color design palettes should all be avoided. If you're not particularly aesthetically minded, get a second opinion on your checkout to make sure it's trustworthy and professional. Next, make sure you check different device and page size differences. Your cart should look great on all devices and page sizes. If you change the page size and the design breaks, it doesn't really inspire much confidence in your customers. Next is your traffic source being majority mobile. Keep in mind that the traffic that you're sending to your product page and checkout is going to have an effect on your conversion rates. Say that your ads are just targeting people in the research phase of their buying process. For example, maybe one of your customers sees your ad while they're on the treadmill at the gym. They love the product, they add to cart, and they go to enter their credit card details but realize they left their wallet in the locker of the gym. So of course, they're not able to buy it right now, so they abandon cart and try and remind themselves to buy later. Of course, people forget, and this is why cart abandonment notifications really come in handy. If someone doesn't complete their cart, you can still capture their email address and send them a notification later to remind them to complete their cart. Plavio integrates really well with Shopify and allows you to send these email notifications when someone abandons their cart. You can also add these abandoned cart users to a remarketing campaign on Google and Facebook ads. In this way, you can serve these potential potential customers ads for the product that they were trying to check out with and remind them to complete their checkout process. A lot of stores successfully use SMS messaging to also buzz these customers to remind them to finish their checkout. That's it guys, there's a whole bag of strategies there for you to use if your store isn't getting sales. If you're watching this video on YouTube, it's actually part of our free Google Shopping course on our website. In this course, we show you everything from setting up, optimizing, and scaling your shopping campaigns for your e-commerce store. It's 100% free with no signup required. I'll leave a link to it down below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments section down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.